Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a small Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. almost and now we are ready definitely so current situation king of wands the challenge six of cups crowning energy the star core of the situation seven of swords past energies five of wands future energies possible outcome the death card the focus is on the two of swords two of pentacles bottom of the deck it seems a transition. A transition that can lead some of you towards a, a promising situation, to be honest, guys. I love the focus on the Two of Swords, considering the fact that the Two of Pentacles is about a juggling act, trying to uh, take care of certain things that are due in the everyday life the rough waters uh, behind the man are about the challenges that can find a connection with the five of wands an energy past related and the seven of swords there is a loop with the two of pentacles we need to break it in order to uh, not be stuck anymore and move forward that's why this is an energy that for me requires attention bottom of the two of swords a touch of anxiety nine of swords and um, an ace of wands brand new beginning no wonder this king of wands can be about some of you guys it can be also the new person the one that can be the person by your side as soon as you complete a major transition it can be a person that you know very well six of cups in the challenge so guys uh, it's an interesting flow it's not exactly easy because of the seven of swords and the five of wands but you can be successful so um, king of wands ready to take action if this is an energy that speaks to some of you, you have recognized that a, a situation, a previous situation, was not meant to be uh, because it was not able to bring fulfillment and satisfaction to you guys. And so, just like the King of Wands, you have realized the sequence of steps in order to move towards your satisfaction the king knows how to get things done and he is ready to jump off the throne so that he can pursue the goals that he has set his mind to no matter what he will find a way to manifest the sequence of actions that can allow him to fulfill wishes this can also be for others of you the type of energy that uh, the new person is able to channel they can be fiery meaning extremely passionate when it comes to the opportunity to be with some of you guys especially if you know each other and the challenge with the six of cups as you may know my favorite card in the deck is all about the opportunity to ignite a sequence of events that are heart and soul driven because look at the contrast between the six of cups and the five of wands seven of swords combination a pure energy versus a confusionary and not exactly clear one so as i usually say 
the purest of hearts, the six of cups, the gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his heart. This is a soulmate energy, past life connection. If you are willing to go down that road, I know that I would, so I'll tell you. Core values, fond memories, aspects and factors that can play a huge role in our journey because they can be a source for guidance. Even in the most challenging times of the journey, maybe there is a recognition in favor of some of you guys about the fact that a previous situation was not the one for you. And then we realize that a change is due, a revolutionary one in this case. Uh, this can be a person that uh, you know, this kind of king of ones individual. It's fascinating to be honest because they can be, they can be a person that uh, truly wants to be with some of you guys. And so this energy that finds roots in the past can be about childhood, high school years, early college years, depending on your age. This can be a person that you know, a friend, a friend of a friend. There is a familiarity that is lovely because there is a comfort within this energy. We are at ease with each other. We enjoy the time that we can spend uh, together. Um, it's a lovely energy, to be honest. No wonder that this energy can drive a revolutionary change. The star is about wish fulfillment. We can agree. And the wish fulfillment can come after the transition from the previous doubtful situation towards the one that is heart and soul driven. This is also about hope. Maybe some of you are hoping to manifest this heart and soul connection. The star is also about being in alignment with the um, highest possible version of ourself, just like the lady is able to do. Uh, she is completely naked in front of the universe. She doesn't care. She is amazing. She is displaying her true self. She is showing her finer qualities and she is calling in the type of scenarios that can be uh, in alignment with her extremely high frequencies. This is also a mindset that can allow a person to realize what are the circumstances or the opportunities that do not resonate with their desires and they avoid those type of scenarios. Kind of seven of swords, five of wands related. In the core of the situation, the Seven of Swords, I am sure that you know the drill, lies, betrayals, deceits. For me, behaviors that are not aimed at the best possible outcome. If you uh, have been involved in a connection, influenced by whatever type of Seven of Swords dish behavior, kind of pick your poison depending on the scenario that can resonate with you. When this energy takes place, we are not able to aim at a star. And so, kind of, in order to get to the star, we need to get rid of the Seven of Swordish situations, circumstances, behaviors. This can be even a tiptoeing away from a situation. It can be meaning that maybe some of you have decided to take care quietly of a situation that was not a source of fulfillment because there was uh, too much confusion involved five of wands, a noisy and annoying energy for me. Uh, as you may know, I associate the five of wands to one of the Alicia Keys songs. People keep talking, they can say what they like. In this case, guys, this can be a situation that may see unrequired opinions around some of you uh, coming from people that are offering points of view when it comes to the opportunity for some of you to move from a previous partner, allow me to say, towards someone that is out of the picture in the eyes of these persons, but someone that is meaningful for you. So this King of Wands, again, there is a 50-50 feeling between your mindset and your willingness to take action in order to fulfill your star as a wish and the person that can encourage you to take the necessary steps. This is a fiery energy. It can be a fire sign. 
even if I do not usually uh, call signs because these are general readings and for me mm, the encouragement should be about the energies that the persons that can be around us are channeling so let's say this as a factor take it as it resonates and so the confusion around you can be truly uh, lowered down thanks to the focus on the two of swords a quiet moment to embrace a deep evaluation there is the moon in the background so some type of PR factor can play a role but you have the opportunity to embrace a major evaluation in order to make a um, meaningful decision the death card can be first and foremost an inner process death and rebirth process so truly the opportunity for a person to switch on the light somehow some way about their life and be brave enough to embrace a revolution this is an energy that i personally love the death card it is an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can leave an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things more in alignment with wishes and desires the new partnership guys especially again if you know the king of wands six of cups influenced person it can be a revolution it can be um, a life-changing opportunity because art and soul are playing a role and we know that when art and soul are leading in a um, higher level of manifestation the process gets even more powerful it's a choice it's a crossroads we can agree there is free will a person can decide freely but this is a huge chance to release the two of pentacles and the nine of swords that we have seen and after all there is the ace of wands involved and the king of wands can be the person that can join forces with you in a brand new partnership full of desire full of passion the pleasure to be together there is a there is a special bond so guys we have a jumper another card that wanted to come out and then we will pull another one so here and now poise the energy and then let's see if there is something else for you All right this one co-create three of ones as an energy for me bottom of the deck why another energy that i love asking the good questions so that we can find precious answers so here and now it can be about the moment making the best of the present moment the circumstances it can be a two of pentacles energy meaning that we are taking care of multiple things that can allow us to move towards the turning point there is excitement with the poised energy the fairy lady i love her because she cannot wait to discover what the journey has in store for her and the co-create is an energy that as i was saying for me it resonates with the three of wands there is openness setting uh, clear intentions and kind of being ready to uh, cooperate with the universe in order to manifest wishes and desires kind of the point considering the star let's see the activation deck guys three cards here we go grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it the disappointments that can come from um, connection influenced by a seven of swords energy can bring in grief um, regrets uh, sadness and so forth so this can be truly the opportunity to shift from these type of situations happiness well i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path it's an inner process the death card and it is about the ability and the brave sometimes uh, coming from a person well sometimes most of the times uh, to be honest coming from a person to um, ask themselves the good question in order to realize where their inner happiness truly is and two more so four cards regret well kind of the point we have mentioned it uh, grief and regret seven of sword dish related i know that i cannot change the past well we cannot change the past but we can learn from it if i am not mistaken is also a um the lion king quotes um 
the one uh, that comes from Rafiki when uh, he speaks uh, with Simba and pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. This is an energy that we need to be uh, careful um, about because it can be channeled in an unbalanced way with the Seven of Swords. But at the same time, if it is a healthy display, it can be a King of Wands star energy, for example. Someone that is able to shine bright because of the qualities that uh, they can bring to the table. So there is a shift, guys. It seems truly a major transition, to be honest from a situation that was not um, fulfilling enough to be uh, able to stand the test of time. And we are embracing a major revolution that can be a promising one. It's a choice, but heart and soul are screaming, are calling for this change to happen. And there is, after all, a brand new beginning that can allow a person to release anxiety, monkey mind, and some type of stuckness that was involved before some of you are definitely aiming at a star and you will find a way to manifest it into your reality guys what a set of energies to be honest i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye